Come on our flight with us from LAX to Tokyo on Singapore Airlines. If you haven't met us yet, our names are Quinn and Fong, and this is our first time going to Japan. This was also our first time riding Singapore Airlines, and we heard great things about it. Apparently, there's really good food on this flight. Fongster tried to force me to buy a neck pillow the night before, but luckily I didn't because everyone had their own pillow and blanket. Right when we sat down, the flight attendants gave us some hot towels, and it felt very nice. The only downside to our seats was there was no Wi-Fi, we sat in premium economy, but free Wi-Fi was only for first class and business class. Our safety video was very interesting. Whenever the seat belt sign is turned on, infants should be lifted from the bassinet. We actually focused for once. The first snack they gave us were these peas and crackers with the side of friends. Bonkster didn't even want to try the peas and crackers and he made the right decision because honestly they were not so good. Then the flight attendants came around with drinks, they had a nice selection of juices, cokes, and even alcohol. Then we had our first meal, it came with a lot of sides which was nice, we had some cheese and crackers, some shrimp, bread, and water. And for the main entree, we had an Asian style chicken and rice, and it came with a lot of vegetables. The pickled relish also made it really good. ended up getting this fish because they ran out of the chicken unfortunately then we tried the shrimp salad honestly the shrimp looks a little sus Each meal came with some water in like a plastic jello cup, but honestly, it was pretty nice. Yeah. Then it was time for dessert. Mm. Everyone got some Hagen dazs ice cream, and you can't really go wrong with this. Hagen dazs ice cream tastes even better 30,000 feet up in the air. They had a nice selection of movies on the flight. I watched Crazy Rich Asians to kill time. I also read a book. One thing that I should have done that I didn't was go to sleep. Time flew by pretty fast because before we knew it, it was time for our second meal. Again, we got some water, some carrot cake, some pasta salad with a ham on top, some cheese and crackers. And for the main entree, we have that shrimp that looked a little sus from earlier. Then I had a brilliant idea if I could get this open. So they gave us the slab of ham and pasta, but who eats ham and pasta like this? So I decided to take this ham, put it with these cheese and crackers, and make some adult Lunchables. Honestly, it was better than the main course. For dessert, we had some carrot cake, which was also impossible to open. It was really good and actually pretty moist. We were almost there, we only had 1 hour and 25 minutes left. And bam, we are now in Japan. The first mission was getting all of our luggage from Narita Airport to our hotel, which is like an hour and 15 minutes away. <laughs> After we dropped off all of our luggages, we went to go see our friends who are staying in the same hotel as us. <gasps> we're here, we're here, we're here, you didn't believe us? Oh. Then we went to go get our first meal in Japan. Limited time. Extremely spicy. Extremely spicy. Small, regular, medium. Large. Abu, uh, large. Large. Medium? Yeah. Okonomi no sette ni henko dekimasu. We were definitely struggling and I'm pretty sure the locals behind us were not so happy. Look, we made it in. I wonder what these sauces are. 
Ooh, you want like This was probably some of the best dipping ramen that I've ever had, but we unfortunately have no clue what it's called. We randomly just stumbled upon it and walked in. We ended the night at a bar, and that was our first day in Japan. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.